What's up guys, Camera Blast from G-Line here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. And today I have 10 tips to help you get better at putting. Let's go. Alright, now obviously I'm not the best putter in the world, but I have only been playing for about 5-6 months now and I'm pretty darn good for my experience, in my opinion. And number one tip is, that has helped me get better, is get at least 12 putters in your arsenal. Um, if you guys are looking for a good, just general putter, I like the P2s by Discmania. Uh, no shame plug, but I probably have about 20 putters just at home. And the trick to getting a lot of them is just every paycheck, just purchase one or purchase a pair. And as you can see, that can easily just add up over time and give you a lot more better practice um, and a lot more putters to practice with. All right, tip number two, you guessed it, get a basket. There's no better way for you to start actually practicing your putts than to get your own basket because if you don't have your own basket, then you're gonna have to be stuck going to the local course, which may be, even for me, it's about 10, 15 minutes away. For other people, it's probably even further just to get some practice putts in. So invest that time and money, obviously, um, and get yourself a basket. Now, the basket that I got was about $150. Uh, seems quite pricey, but yeah, there's you can't really replicate the sound of the chains and just a regular good old practice basket. If you're trying to get better, invest into yourself. That's number two. Okay, so you have your practice basket and you have your putting putters. Now, my next tip would be to mark your circle one, which is 30 feet. You wanna mark those in 10 feet increments. And what that does, so you have 10 feet, 20 feet, and then 30 feet. And that just gives you a general sense of where the actual circle is when you're gonna be playing your tournaments if so. So if you need to, if you wanna know that, hey, I can jump putt outside of uh, 30 feet, then you know your distance. You know where you need to practice to in order to start pretty much dialing in those shorter putts. And most people, I mean, at least when I first started, they said the 20 foot putt is definitely one of the most important putts that you can have um, dialed in. So mark your circle one putts and dial them in, practice them. That's tip number three. Tip number whatever it is. Choose a putting style, whether it be a straddle putt, a staggered putt, or I've even seen people putt like this, not a turbo putt, go like this and spin the disc like this. Whatever it is, choose it and stick with it and practice it no matter what. Just because somebody else is putting differently than you doesn't mean you have to do the same exact way uh, that somebody else does it. Choose what's comfortable for your body frame and your body style, however you want to put it, and stick with it and practice it. Because yeah, that's why, who cares? All right guys, tip number five. And this one is probably one that has helped me the most. I have a full reach back and then a full explode. Now going to these both extreme points in the pullback and the pull forward or the explode forward has pretty much helped me develop consistency. And if you've ever heard of somebody say, oh, you're putting scared, it pretty much, when I used to stagger stance like this, sometimes I wouldn't pull back all the way and just not explode. And that led me to not pretty much, it pretty much led me to not completing my full motion of going like this every time. And sometimes you just forget to do that. But if you just remember to have a full pullback 
and then a full explode point that's going to help you develop that consistency that you want especially um, if it's cold outside and you kind of don't remember your mechanics on the field and you have a case of the yips you don't want that so find a full pullback and a full explode uh, start and end point in in your stroke hope that helps Say it with me now. Tip number six. This is another big one that has helped me, especially today at doubles, um, is exhaling on your explode motion. So when you release, not it's and it's not an exhale, it's it's obviously a gradual exhale, but it's not a it's a um, breathe in and then exhale throughout your mouth very slowly and then have your explode in your uh in your stroke your forward motion you want that to be the motion of when you explode is in between your breath so explode and it's just supposed to be calm exhale during your during your explode stroke in your putting and that should help relieve tension and help you get focused and keep your body calm throughout your putting stroke. Hopefully that one helps. Next tip is to develop a pre-round warm-up putting routine prior to your round, obviously. So that can be anything. It's You can try to set up or figure out where the 10, 20, and 30 feet uh, marks are towards the towards the warm-up basket and get, you know, 10, 20, 30 putts in. But what you want to do is just develop that consistency um, on the green before so you could get your mechanics down. All right, guys, I'm getting tired of running around my little backyard, but next tip we have is to reset when you're practicing every putt i de you definitely want to get into the perspective of n every putt matters no matter if it's a 10 foot um five foot you've seen the pros and the best and the worst miss all kinds of putts um and it's pretty much you have to put yourself in the position that every putt matters no matter what even if you have 30 putters on your side right here it doesn't really matter you want to make sure that you reset dial everything in every putt because it's just gonna make that much of a difference you want to be able to dial everything in and reset every putt because in the tournaments they actually do matter all of them so remember to reset every putt especially when you're practicing every putt matters All right guys, I'm almost done talking your ears off, but tip number nine is usually when you're practicing pre-round is practice getting your stroke down first, your mechanics of your putting and all of that good stuff. Get that down first by just kind of getting loose putting, um, but not focusing too much on if you make it or not. What you, what you, what I like to, what I've been doing is pretty much just putting around the first 10, 15 minutes, getting my stroke down, getting that um, consistency, getting that um, that fluidity of my putting stroke down, and then after about 10, 15 minutes, that's when I dial in my mental game, because sometimes if you focus too much on both early in your putting then you can easily get down on yourself for missing those early ones so get the motion down get the mechanics down in the beginning the first 15 minutes just put around it's not don't think too much of it but then <clears throat> as your motion and your mechanics and your stroke starts getting a little more dialed in especially if it's like cold outside then that's when you want to start focusing on the mental aspect of the combo All 
All right guys, last tip of the video, and that is simply to put yourself in a winning mentality. When you think of guys like Paul Macbeth, Eagle McMahon, MJ, all the best putters out there, um, they have had to put themselves in winning mentalities already before they can transition because think about how many great putters there are out there. There's so many. However, there's very few at the top, top, top level of the game, and it's simply themselves putting themselves in that winning mentality along with their uh, time that they put in on the course consistency all that so put yourself in a winning mentality and i hope these tips help you guys become better putters um, don't just watch the video write them down um, write down things that you can improve on in your rounds and everything and that's what's going to make you that much of a better player hope this video helped you guys happy putting and lower them scores um, this video is not sponsored by anybody but if you guys would like to sponsor discraft dismania just kidding dismania is my favorite but i'll let the discraft slide happy putting